Hey everyone, Steve Wilson here, and this is my Surface Laptop Studio Art Review. Huge thank you to everyone continuing to subscribe to the channel and your continued support. With that said, starting with the display. It's a 14.4 inch display and the resolution is 2400 by 1600, which is a slightly lower resolution than the Surface Book 3, but with the added 120 hertz, I have no complaints, and there's a pending update for adaptive refresh rate. Make sure you flip the screen to sRGB when drawing so you can have better color accuracy. This is all powered by an 11th gen Intel Core i5 or i7 processor. The graphics can either be the Intel Iris Xe or Nvidia's RTX 3050 Ti, which is plenty enough power to get things done. RAM comes on either 16 gigs or 32 gigs. The storage is 256 gigabytes up to a terabyte. There's two Thunderbolt 4 ports, even with the inclusion of a headphone jack. Now, the price is a pretty steep one. It starts at the base of $1,600 all the way up to $3,000, and it weighs about four pounds. They advertise about 18 to 19 hours of battery life, but in my own general testing, I'm only getting around 10 hours of battery life. The hinge has evolved, no longer being a detachable like the Surface Book, but a folding hinge that allows you to prop the display in three different positions. This form moving forward will be replacing the Surface Book lineup, which this is more similar to the Sony Vio Z Flip and the Acer Concept laptop. Now in the three modes that you'll be using, there's laptop mode, and after laptop mode, there's stage mode, and after stage mode, there's studio mode, which is the best mode because this is the mode that you'll be drawing in that has that tablet-like form factor. Now, one of the biggest and most appreciated updates comes in the form of the Slim Pin 2, which has a sharper tip, a built-in haptic motor, and pressure levels of 4096. This uses Bluetooth 5.0, and features zero force inking. And I can finally say they have improved the pen's performance. And in some ways, this does outperform the Apple Pencil. Unfortunately, you're only gonna get this experience with the Surface Pro 8, the Surface Laptop Studio, the Pro X, and the Duo 2. Strangely enough, I can't find any mentions of Intrig, but it, Microsoft does mention it is using a custom G6 processor. The Slim Pen 2 costs $129.99, but if you're a creator, you're going to want this. The pin magnetically charges under the lip of the laptop studio, and it seriously has some strong magnets. This definitely won't fall off if you're putting your laptop in a bag and takes a bit of force to try to pry it off. Now, with doing my standard line test, the things that I noted was when drawing without any type of ruler or sort, and you're just making a straight line, drawing very slowly, there's very little jitter or wave to the line. So that means that this definitely has improved over the surface lineup. Now, when it comes to using a ruler with this, you can see tad bits of that wave that's still there. So it has been improved and I'm assuming that the G6 processor in conjunction with the Surface Laptop Studio and the Surface Pro 8 is having some type of effect to make these lines better. But something to also be noted is the haptic feedback, depending upon the program that you're in, doesn't work. So in Clips Paint Studio, it won't work. But in something like Concepts, it actually does work. And for a quick comparison, I used my Surface Book 3 with the old Surface Pen to see if maybe Windows 11 did some improvements with the pen in its calibration, but sadly, it doesn't, and it still has very wavy lines that are hard not to notice, especially when you have that stabilization turned off. I even tried to use the new Slim Pen 2 with the Surface Book 3, and it did even worse than the Surface Pen, which is expected because I believe the sharper tip in the pen calibration might be slightly off because of how sharp the tip is compared to the more spongy tip at the end of the surface pin. And doing a comparison with Samsung's Galaxy Tab, the EMR Tech really gives those straight lines. Even with using a ruler, all the lines come out very clean and crisp. So that means that Microsoft has definitely improved like I've stated, but they need a little bit more tweaking 
to where they can get to that Wacom EMR level. And hopefully with a few updates, that can be possible since there will be some changes coming in the future. Now, from our overall thoughts, this is hands down the jack of all trades kind of device, and it's made for creators. This may not be the most powerful out there, but the experience that you would get as an artist, architect, 3D designer, graphic artist is simply unrivaled. The Surface Book carved a niche few could replicate, but with this class of laptop, the studio has pushed it even further. There are a few areas that could see some improvement, but they're very minor and personal only to me. Example being, I would like to see the pen a little larger to be an actual pen shape. Maybe offer two different sizes instead of one. The device itself is a tad heavy when using like a tablet, but the alternative is the Pro 8. There is also the surface tax, for this being priced from $1,600 all the way up to $3,000. Now the thing that keeps me always coming back to products such as the Surface lineup is the ability to be that jack of all trades. Whether you want to be an artist or a light gamer, doing both is physically possible. Now I fully recommend this laptop studio only if you're a person who will fully utilize what it was meant to do. And that is to create. Create whatever your mind or your heart desires. But there are still those little nitpicks like I said, the price range, the inability to put it in multiple angles, but you can actually flip the device around and kind of navigate it that way, but you would have to kind of prop your hand behind it to keep that display up. So you can draw at different angles. It's just a little harder than what most devices are when you have the ability just to use those magnets, which would make it overall better. But all in all, I really like the device. And just like always, I'll speed this portion of the video up even faster. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Drop a comment if you have any questions. And peace.